Today's Monday, the 31st day of October 2011. Welcome to the video and happy Halloween. Today we're going to be talking about a browser that I got in a request several days ago to, uh, to take a quick look at, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, this is one of those browsers that seems to be in its very, very early stages of um, maybe development or deployment, but uh, nevertheless, it is worth taking a look at, and there's a lot of potential in something like this. It's very lightweight. The whole file's like four megabytes. And uh, I really think this can go far if marketed right and developed successfully. Uh, so here's their website, raven.io. It's a free download. As I said, it's very small. This is still a beta. It's version 0.6 for uh, Mac OS 10.7. And later, you can see they've got a beautiful website here displaying the product on a MacBook Air. They go over some of the features of the browser here on their site. And then there's the big download link at top. So I'll leave that link below if you'd like to check it out uh, in the, the uh, video description. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and open it up and see what we're dealing with. They've got a little feather for their icon. It's really snappy, opens up really quickly. And we're gonna begin about begin with talking about the main function of this browser, at least from what I can see, is the web app shop here. They don't have a whole lot of applications in here. That's plainly uh, disclosed up at the top. Well, we're busy working on our app submission process. Please enjoy these sample apps. So it looks like they've got several social media stuff um, different apps rather. You can find stuff here to bookmark. They said that themselves. And then there's some staff favorites too. Dropbox, Flick, Flickr, you know, Hulu. So I went ahead and installed YouTube, Google+, uh, the New York Times application, Twitter, and Facebook. Now these aren't as much apps that I've, that I've seen so far as of October 31st, 2011, uh, but shortcuts to different web pages, which, you know, that's kind of what a bookmark's for. But this is uh, going above and beyond that. So if we come over to Twitter, we click on Twitter, it's just going to take us to Twitter.com. I'll take a second and log in so you can see what everything will look like when you're logged in. So now when you click on Twitter after you're logged in, you can see it is uh, very familiar um, like the Twitter app is. So we've got the same icons over here. If you click on the speech bubble, you're just going to get to your timeline. You can see my incredibly outdated background that I need to work on. Uh, but you can see all of this. You come down here to the at, guess what? That's going to be your mentions. It's just going to take you to the mentions URL. Come over here to the envelope. That's going to be your DMs, direct messages. And then the search, uh, maybe if you're looking for someone, there's your uh, search option. Notice we have a dot underneath each and every one of, uh, of the icons over there. Um, it's very similar in OS 10. You get a dot below applications in your dock that are actually open. Well, here, those are different windows that are open. So I can switch back and forth. We have one dot open. If I click it again, now we have two dots, and that's open in two different tabs. It's the same stuff. Come down here to at replies, click it again, again, again. There's four dots for four different windows. And yes, one of the most important things I always test when testing browsers, did the developer take however long it takes, and make the keyboard functions work. This is really important for me. I'm constantly using Command W to close tabs, and for new windows, T for tabs, stuff like that. And it really um, works well. I don't know if they have, yeah, they actually have. If you do D, you're going to come over here to your downloads um, section, which is a really intuitive, really nice way of looking at your downloads. I really like how they um, made that work. Uh, but the tabs, uh, you know, it's pretty basic. It's nothing too fancy up there. You do get some animation when they come in and uh, they, they just go out, but that works fine. Uh, we'll take a, a quick look at Facebook here. We'll get into my profile. If you'd like to go find me on Facebook, please do. However, if you don't know who I am, please don't add me as I will likely not accept you. Uh, but we've got the same shortcuts over there for uh, Facebook stuffs. Under YouTube, this is just gonna take us to youtube.com. So if you log in and tell it to remember you, when you click that, it'll just take you home. Click the picture of a book, that's going to bring you over to the videos page, something I never use. This is just the stuff most viewed today. Some of it's good, most of it's garbage. Come over here, this is going to take you to movies, something else that I never use. And then uh, I really like the idea of having a shortcut to the upload videos page. You know, big deal. It saves you one click when you click upload up there, but it is kinda nice to have that over there. And then the New York Times, that just takes us right over to nytimes.com. We can do some Twitter stuff from there. There's a link to your Twitter account, topics, videos from uh, from the New York Times. And then Google Plus, too. If you'd like to add me on Google Plus, I likely will accept you on Google Plus and add you to, I don't know, acquaintances or something. Maybe I'll create a circle for the people that watch my videos. I thank you. So that's what that looks like. There's many different quote unquote applications that you can add here. But as I've said, they're not exactly applications uh, as much as shortcuts to um, different web pages. And you can likely create your own over there. 
So up at the top of the browser, we do have our navigate buttons to go back and forth. They're a little small, um, but it looks like the, um, the backspace does work. That's important for me. Home button, of course, you can change where the home button goes. If you click the plus, surprise, surprise, there's a favorite or a bookmark. You can title it, put that address in. You can also send to whatever that is. Uh, over on the right side, you have another star. You can edit your favorites from there. There's a button to manually create a new tab. That seems like it's way out of the way for me. If a developer ever watches this video, uh, I would consider maybe moving that over near the home button. It would just seem a, a little bit more fluid over there to add a tab than have to go all the way up there. Uh, or just use the keyboard shortcut, either one. And then there's this button over here, which is two arrows. Uh, if you hover over it, it says mobile slash desktop mode. Uh, maybe that is for websites that have a mobile and a desktop mode. I know Twitter does. I know Tech Inform does. But um, it seems to do nothing on most of the websites that I've tried. So maybe that's a feature on its way. Uh, but that's up there as well. If we come up here, we've got these standard stuffs. Um, we'll take a quick look in the preferences pane. There's nothing too outlandish here. Of course, you can make it your default browser if you like. And now I just did. I've got to figure out how to make Safari the default browser again for now. But uh, there's your home page. You can do that. Open new tabs. You know the basic settings that you would expect to find uh, in a browser. So uh, this is definitely a browser that I would keep my eye on. Look out for it. You can come over here by clicking at the um, clicking the the gear down on the bottom left of the browser. Remove applications, turn them on, turn them off, um, change their location by using these arrows. I think it would be kind of cool if we could drag those. So maybe that's something that'll come in the future. Um, and I also will note that they did uh, enable full screen support for OS Lion. If you click those arrows up there, it will take the full screen, which is something I don't believe even Chrome has yet. Um, but that's what it looks like. You click the Raven, it's going to take you uh, right now. It's probably the, the um, the home shortcut up there, but it's just taken me to their start page right now, which is the beta web app shop. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I encourage you to at least go maybe download it. It's free. It's very small download files I mentioned before. Um, I would keep an eye on it, see what happens with it. Maybe it'll become um, a lot more uh, relevant and interesting in the future. So if it does, uh, we'll make another video and we'll talk about it. But uh, thanks so much for watching this one. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Our website, I will try to navigate over there. It's techinform.us. We're going to try to get some new stuff up soon. It's been a little slow. We've been pretty busy. My Twitter, as you've been seeing uh, pretty recently, is twitter.com slash Schultz. Again, thanks. Subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.